All right, I'm making this video um, today to walk through how to customize the icons on the drives um, within your Windows 10. Or I'm not sure if this works with the previous versions of Windows, but uh, I have Windows 10. It may work. Um, so as you can see, I've customized my Google Drive and my Amazon uh, to be uh, AWS S3 drive uh, with this you know custom icon here. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do in this example is I'll, I'll customize my C drive and the D drive. The C drive is my main hard drive, which is it's a uh, one of those um, Samsung solid state drives, and this is just like a regular uh, standard um, uh, laptop hard drive. So I'm going to download this cool sleek one for to represent the um, the solid state drive. So uh, here's a cool website, findicons.com. So uh, if you're looking for you know nifty icons, um, so I'm going to click on download icon, and take that and put it into the, this folder, and I'm just going to call this uh, solid state drive. And now, in order to change this, um, what you want to do is you want to open the registry editor, and if you don't um, know how to open that, you can click onto here. Click on uh, hold down the um, the Windows key and press R. Actually, I'm not. I don't think you even need to click here. I think you can just press. Yeah. So just Windows key and then R, and then type in reg edit, and then click on OK, and that uh, that will bring this up basically. Um, so the registry editor um, or the registry is basically um, the imagine it's like the database um, that your operating system uh, stores uh, information. Um, that's basically what the registry is. Um, now be very careful when you're in here because uh, if you kind of screw it up, then um, bad stuff could happen to your uh, to your computer. I don't mean like bad stuff as in like a virus or anything malicious, but uh, your computer might start acting, um, certain things might stop uh, running. So uh, be very careful, but if you follow along step by step, uh, you'll be fine. So. You want to expand this key, the um, H key underscore local underscore machine, and then expand to software. And then uh, once you've expanded out to software, expand to Microsoft, and then scroll down, and then expand Windows, and then expand current version, and then scroll down, expand Explorer, expand um, drive icons. And over here, you'll see like the different drive icons. Um, as you can see, it um, the G drive, for example, I've uh, you know referenced it to the uh, my Google Drive icon. So in this case, we're gonna go back here, and this is the D drive. So I don't have that. So what I'll do is I'll right click over here, click on New Key, and I'll call this D, and then I'll right click here, and then go to New Key, and I'll type in Default Icon. And what I will do here is um, now double click onto the key. And then over here, just uh, go and grab this URL, or not URL, this path, and as well as the um, the slash, or the, I guess, backwards facing slash. And then you want to type in the file name here, or paste the file name, click on OK. And let me, let me see if you, uh, okay, so it has not reflected yet. Um, cause I have not saved, so I'm just gonna, wait, let me, let me refresh it. I actually don't think you have to save. Okay, cool. So basically, uh, uh, once I've changed it, basically that saves it. So there's no explicit save. So after you do that, basically you just right click and refresh and that'll change this. And I'll show you the same as far as, cha oh, uh, wrong drive. That's supposed to be C drive. So I can kind of go back here and, um, I'm just going to rename this to C and refresh here. Bam, switched it over. And uh, well, at this point, you can, you know, you kind of got what you needed. But if, uh, at, any, at any rate, if you want to see me um, mount this one, um, then uh, I'm going to download the this one and paste it into here. And I'm going to call this the uh, hard drive. I guess <laughs> uh, just hard drive. <laughs> And 
go back into the registry and and then what well, drive letter is this D okay so new and also you can you can like go and rename these so for example E doesn't have anything so I'm just gonna go over here and uh you know and, and, and I'm just going to, going to uh, hijack this so I'm going to just rename this to to, to D and I'm going to go in here oh I'm not sure what that is but here and if I refresh boom I will most likely try to find maybe a different icon so with the icons um, if you haven't closed the window at this point um, if you have then well uh, you wouldn't be listening to this but for those people that have they're kind of missing out on another part so um, one thing that you can do if you if you can't find like an icon that you like what you want to do is for example I would go to Google and type in solid state uh, drive icon and most likely if I go to Google images um, you know I get a bunch of like uh, like this kind of you know um, so I, I can kind of like actually pick out one of these maybe I'll pick out uh, um, maybe this one and I can then right click like save this picture and then what I can do is go to Google and type in uh, PNG to ICO and if I go here then I can just upload the the image um, click on upload and I'm just going to leave this as ICO for Windows, and it doesn't say Windows 10 here, but it's that's pretty like uh, you know it'll it'll definitely work for Windows 10. So after you click on convert ICO, you can click on download icons, and I'm going to uh, get this and go back here. Uh, where is it? Drive icons. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. I'm just going to name this solid state drive. Whoa, that was weird. It took it over. Um, I'm going to click on undo. <laughs> I'm going to call this maybe SSD uh, drive or just SSD. Maybe Samsung SSD. Cool. Now I can go back into the registry and change the C drive and if I go back here cool so it just kind of like adds a layer of of, of uh, um, I, I mean when you're here it's fine but sometimes you know like at a quick glance, it's easy to tell which one is the Google, which one's Amazon. I, mean, I know there's labels on it, but sometimes that just makes it easier. You can add, you know, pin that icon onto the uh, start menu or or send it to the desktop, and it just kind of makes you know life a little bit easier when you can customize the the icons of these drives. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, uh, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I also have other uh, uh, videos about you know basically. Uh, stuff that you can do in Windows. So check those out. And other than that, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing.